Sometimes the assistant touches things when they're not supposed to. You have to be patient because <laughs> it'll affect the mood of the camp if you lose your Black shit too much. <gasps> Sorry, bear scat and a popsicle stick. So this segment's going to be about making popcorn. I'm going to start off by giving a shout out to Corporal's Corner who uh, inspired me with this one. So here we have a vacuum sealed pack and it's all been portioned. I spent about uh, four tries on the stove at home with the, uh, this pot measuring out oil and popcorn till I got it right. And I've have that now written down. You'll have to do your own pot and experiment and oh darn eat popcorn whether it's good or bad is up to you. So we have oil and popcorn, and you'll also notice I have some salt packets from drive through Burger King to be precise, um, hashtag not sponsored. And I also have some extra salt here uh, if you would like it really salty. This is just all packed, one little snack that'll fill this up with popcorn when we're done. First little thing we're gonna do is open up and take out the oil pack which is also vacuum sealed and portioned correctly. You just want enough oil to cover the, the bottom of the pot and the cur enough kernels to be submerged in the oil. We really want to get all this oil out when we're done. I'll hand that off to my assistant to put in our garbage pack to pack out with us. Take out the salt packets for later, set them aside. And that again is to taste. And the first step is to warm up the oil. So we're going to put it over coals, not flame. Nice hot coals right there. And just give it a minute or two, not even two minutes. It's pretty hot. A good little good cooking tip when cooking on coals and campfire is the three to five second rule. If you can hold your hand there for three to five seconds, that's approximately 350 degrees. Um, if it's less than that, it's way too hot. And you can faintly hear the oil spurting away there. That's a good sound, not even a minute. We're gonna add the kernels and hand this off to my assistant to put in the garbage pouch. It's gonna give this one little quick shake to coat them all with oil. Put it on and put the lid on. It's gonna hold the heat in, but it's also gonna stop stuff from spurting out and catching on fire. And we're just gonna use our ears to listen and you're gonna hear it pop now and then. This will take a while. So always pour yourself a beverage. Nice coffee in the afternoon, doesn't hurt. It also doesn't hurt if you're not standing in the smoke. It's handy to have a handkerchief for that because it's a very tearful experience. Okay, we can hear the oil bubbling. That's a good sound. Any moment now we'll hear a pop, pop, pop. Non-unionized popcorn, doesn't pop on cue. Many of you will be looking at my wardrobe wondering why I'm in a tank top and a toque. It's because it's September in Algonquin Park and we keep getting cloudy rain showers and then sunny, balmy, 18 degree weather, 10 minutes apart. I'm dressed for it. I'm a little impatient, so I'm shaking it too often. You just have to be patient and let it do its popping and let it heat up. Oh, heard one little pop. Once it stops to, starts to pop, we're going to pull it away to a lower heat, probably closer to this rock where we're still getting heat from the fire and the coals, but where we're going to put it on like a medium high heat rather than a high heat. For the sake of camera, I'm going to expose this and show how it's doing. They're starting to split and expand a bit with the oil. It won't be long now. 
try to get it on a level surface if you can at camp. I know that's hard. But it doesn't hurt to try. This takes time. It takes patience, but it's worth it. It's something that has to be babysat all the time. You can't walk away from it. It'll burn. And there is always the risk of burning. The reason why I do the portion control at home is for that. It eliminates all the guesswork about the size of the pot and amount of oil and the popcorn because that's one of the variables. But you can control your heat at home. You can't control your heat on a fire as easily. If the GoPro is shaking, it's because it's on a tent pole attached to a tarp. And I apologize for your shaky view. Oh my gosh. I'm crying because I can't wait for the anticipation. I'm going to cry more if it doesn't turn out with all this hard work. Sometimes the assistant touches things when they're not supposed to. You have to be patient because <laughs> it'll affect the mood of the camp if you lose your lactose too much. <gasps> Sorry, bear scat and a popsicle stick. My assistant is very excited. You know, Vanna White never talked. Here we go. Action Jackson. I'm just going to test the heat level here. That's about seven seconds, so we're on a medium high heat. I'm just going to give that a quick shake. I also have butter ready to go to coat it if we like. You can put on your favorite toppings. I do suggest coating it with butter and sprinkling Montreal, Montreal steak spice on it. That's a nice little different shake from the salt, no pun intended, kind of. Cinnamon sugar is good on it. I do have a recipe that I may do a video on, comment below if you'd like to see it, where I add maple syrup to it and turn it into candy popcorn. The Outdoor Boys do that on one of their 10 favorite campfire videos, their recipe videos. I highly recommend that. Link below, production crew. Now, if there was smell-o-vision, you could smell campfire smoke, nice dark coffee, and popcorn. popcorn. Pretty soon you're going to see the lid pop up. Ba -dum. On cue, finally. It is awesome. Yes. I'm just going to take that off and let that finish up here. As you can see, it's done popping. You want to pull it off when it's popping about every three to five seconds rather than every two to three seconds. You kind of get a feel for it. There, you can hear there still is some kernels in the bottom. I think it's better to waste a few kernels than burn the batch. And now's the time to sprinkle salt. Because there's four of us eating it, I'm not going to be selfish and want to put all three on because I like things a little bit more savory like that. This is paper. I'm going to burn it rather than pack it out. This is ready for eating. Enjoy. Perfect. Not burnt. Quite delicious. My assistant too. Mustn't forget the assistant. That's good. Enjoy. Enjoy.